Donna's got the anointing. side as we have is the other yeah. and, and, we'll, right. and we'll stagger the joint on the other side to trust but we're gonna make it as we go. Yeah. I remember the first time when uh, Pastor Ron and some of the team members came in the evening time to see the church. It was just built with wall and mud and then it's almost to be fall down. And that time when Pastor Ron was asking the pastor to pray for in anything what they want and the pastor, the senior pastor over here, Pastor Kenna was said they want our church to be rebuilt so that their church to be bigger and lots of people to come and worship over here in the house of God. They have been praying for many, many months. Then after when Pastor Ron and the group back home, they have been praying and then God answered their prayer. So when I came uh, in July and August uh, to the States, uh, the Faith Chapel people has already decided to help in building the church for uh, yeah, I'm both here and Pastor Ron asked me if I can be participated and helping in anything on this work and I said uh, I'm so glad to be participated in this precious work of the Lord and my heart was open to do that and then uh, Pastor Ron has prepared all the designs, the plans and then I came with that big assignment to implement it over here with the pastor and I talked to him and we had discussion together and I sent back what the pastor was said over here and Ron was contacting me and we were writing each other in email so he explained it uh, very well to me and then we start putting the plan on the floor over here and the pastor said the church members will be participated on the work and it was really great to hear that from him. And they were really very excited and very happy to have a new church. It was their prayer, so they were excited. God answered their prayer from somewhere they never expected. They were expecting from people they know, but God, he opened a door from another direction, from far area. So they were very excited. Then uh, we start implementing the work and they demolished the old a building. They start digging and we hire the contractors and we start purchasing materials, all the blocks, stones, rocks, the gravels, sands, the sheets and all the poles over here. And then we give them a quick assignment to the contractors to start the building within a few, within few weeks, meaning it was within one month. And that was really a very quick assignment. And then we purchased all the materials and we got the money from the states. After we purchased all the staffs, the building work was started. The pastor and the members and the contractor has been labored from the morning to the evening. Even sometimes they were lighting their torch and they were working with the flashlight. I was following and supervising the work uh, as, 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 as possible as I can. And I was praying and I have seen the Lord was uh, blessing all the materials because you will never get in Ethiopia a building to be done to this stage within one month. It's difficult. It, it, it can take about six, seven months, but the uh, Lord was helping the people, the materials, and it was really blessed and it's beyond my expectation. The building is really great and the pastor was telling me they had about 200 members. But later on, after this building was done, they're going to have about 2,000 members. 
it can hold because this is a big, very nice, durable church. And I hope the Lord will help this group now. Uh, we are very, very, very excited uh, about the group coming and helping with this uh, construction. I have the trust in the Lord will bless the people and the work will be accomplished at the end of those two weeks. And that's really great. And the people that you see over here, the youngsters are the church members. Uh, they open their heart to help for what you are doing here and they are contributing anything what they can for the church and they are very happy and they are very joyful to be uh, to work with each other and I'm sure they will get a very nice lesson from the Montana people from the Faith Chapel people and they will learn each other and uh, there will be some fun stuff that you never see in construction in stats you will see it here in different manner. So that's kind of learning each other also and sharing experiences. And I pray the Lord to bless the work. Thank you.